Balita National. Good morning, Pilipinas, and welcome to another edition of Balitang National. For this video, allow me to use English and Tagalog as our medium of instruction. Exclusivo. Ngayon, tayo ay mag-simplify ng operation for two given rational expressions. Specifically, addition po. Kasi po, yung ibinigay sa atin, we have 2t minus 1 all over 3t minus 3 plus another rational expression, 6 minus t all over t squared minus 5t plus 4. Rational expressions somehow behave like fractions. So in short, whenever we add rational expressions, we need to be reminded of the correct processes na gagamitin or ginagamit para mag-add ng mga fractions po. If you have this example of a fraction, you have here, let's say, 1 6 plus 1 8. We can not add them immediately because these two fractions are considered to be dissimilar fractions. Bakit po? Kasi nga po, yung ating mga denominator, 6 and 8, ay di po magkapareha. We can only consider them similar fractions if the denominators are the same. In this sense, we could only add this by looking for an LCD. The LCD po is a number that represents the common multiple or the least common multiple of the two numbers 6 and 8. Now, we can of course multiply 6 and 8 to get our intended LCD na 48 po. Pero pwede din gamitin ito. We have 2 times 3 for one for our 6 and for our 8 is pwede din po yung 2 times 4. Now, both of our denominators has 2. So, we just simply use 1 to here and then we simply place the remaining coefficients of 3 and 4. This means the LCD po ng ating 1, 6, and 1, 8 is not 48. It's still possible to use 48 but since LCD po means least. So, the next value is 2 times 3 times 4 which is 24. So, ito po yung concept na gagamitin nandito sa pag-simplify or paghahanap ng sum ng dalawang rational expressions. Kasi, we cannot add them immediately because their denominators are not the same. But we can do it like this. If we are going to express the denominator of our first rational expression as a factor of 3, because we can use factoring here, specifically common monomial factoring, ilalabas natin po yung 3. Yung mangyayari sa ating 3t is just t, and then minus, instead of 3, 1. Ito po yung factor ng denominator ng unang rational expression. Yung pangalawang rational expression natin po, specifically in all, on its denominator, it's a quadratic trinomial. So we can use here the AC way. So A, C, which means we can use this by factoring quadratic trinomial. Our A is 1, the coefficient of our first expression here. Our C is 4, which will give us a result of 4. Now looking for the factors of 4, we have 1 and 4. We also have uh, negative 1 and negative 4. Pwede din po yung 2 times 2 and negative 2 times negative 2. Notice here that we are reviewing as well the factoring concepts because we need to do this to look for the LCD of rational expressions. Now, among these four factors, if we are going to add them, okay, four pairs of factors rather, which of this pair of factors will result to negative 5, the middle coefficient of our quadratic trinomial? And it's actually this one here. So the factor of our denominator for our second rational expression is, is a pair of binomials where we take the square root of the first term t, t, and then we use the coefficients minus 1 and minus 4. Now, let's examine this closely po. Bakit po ginagawa natin ito? Kasi nga po, katulad ng kanina, yung 6 at 8 natin, pwede po 48. Pero, since we can ex um, establish or express 6 by 2 times 3, and 8 as 2 times 4, and yung 2 po, ay lumabas na, we can only use 1, 2 because we're talking about least, and we place the remaining 
3 and 4 as our LCD. Dito po may T minus 1 and T minus 1 din dito. This means that the LCD of this or the result, uh, the LCD of the result when we add these two trinormal expressions or rather rational expressions is the result of 3 times T minus 1 times T minus 4. They only placed 1 T minus 1 kasi we, it repeats already. So, when we continue this, let's refer to this example. This is our least common denominator as mentioned, which will result to, well, let me place it a little bit lower, okay, 12, I mean 24 rather. So, ang next na gagawin nito is ito, 24 divided by 6, that's 4, that's your multiplier to your first numerator, which is 1. Now, 24 divided by 8 is a 3. That's your second multiplier to your second numerator. And then, since it's addition, we use it like this. So, same concept po. This entire LCD divided by this denominator, which has these factors, yung matitira lang po when we divide these three uh, factors by this is only T minus 4. That's our multiplier to our numerator. And since they are both binomial expressions, please don't forget to use parentheses. So we have here um, 2t minus 1. Yun po ang mangyayari sa ating first numerator. Kagaya na nangyari dito, 4 times 1. Kasi yung 4 is a result po when dividing 24 by 6. And then since it's 1 here, if this is 7, this is also 7 here. So it looks like that. Now for our second uh, rational expression, this to be divided by t squared minus 5t minus, plus 4 rather, which is this expression. Mawawala po yung t minus 1 at t minus 4. Yung matitira is only 3. So that's the multiplier 3 times 6 minus t. And don't forget po yung operations separate in them. Addition, so yung ilalagay natin dito. So let's try to uh, simplify now our numerator. We have uh, two binomial expressions here. So use your uh, FOIL method. T times 2T is 2T squared. Negative 4 times 2T is negative 8T. Okay? T times negative 1 is negative T. So negative 8T, the negative 1. So you have minus 9T. Next. Negative 4 times negative 1, we have here uh, positive 4. That's for the result of the first operation. Now, plus 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times negative t is negative 3t. All over your entire denominator, 3, t minus 1, and then t minus 4. Now, let's simplify the entire um, numerator. So, you have 2t squared. You have minus 9t minus uh, 3t. So, you have negative 12t. And then, you have here plus 4 uh, plus 18. So, you have 22. Yon. We have the denominator 3, t minus 1. Sorry for the little bit space here. At saka, t minus 4 na po. Yan. So, this should be our answer. But let's examine it further if we can still simplify. Okay? I'm talking about this here. When we took out 2, you will have your expression to be only t squared. Minus 60 now. Okay? And yung 22 natin magiging 11. Okay? Why are, are we doing this? Baka kasi, this one here is still factorable. And baka yung isa sa kanilang factor is t minus 1 and t minus 4, to which we can still cancel out. But when looking at this one here, your AC way is 11. Yung factor ng 11 is just 1 and 11, also negative 1 and negative 11. None of those two pairs could result to negative 6. This means this is already our final result. So, our final result for the sum of our 
Uh, two rational expressions here is 2t squared minus 12t plus 22 all over 3 times t minus 1 times t minus 4. You can still multiply the denominators, but just for the essence of representing the result, this is already okay. Lesser Lucy Gumpan, nagbabalita for Balitang Rational. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, at i-share ang video ito. Maraming salamat!